guys, it's Honey here and we have made it to what I think is going to be the hardest declutter for me. We are up to lipsticks. Part 8 is lipsticks and this, we can tell I love a good lip. I can go from neutral to out there in a second. So this is going to be a really hard one for me. Um, yes, so let's just get started. Alright, so here are all my nude lipsticks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch them on my arm and show you and tell you which ones I'm keeping and getting rid of. Alright, so I have them all swatched on my arm. The one I don't is Shanghai Suzy's Miss Coco. Now you can't see that. But as you can see, it's like broken off. So I'm just going to throw that one out. First is Matte Innocence by Milani. Um, it's this one here. I'm not too much a fan of that one, so I'm going to pass that along. Next is Chanel's Boy. I love this colour, so I'm definitely keeping it. Maybelline Tantalising Topes. This one here. I really like this one as well, so I'm going to keep that. And then I'm also going to keep these two. Can you tell? I really like these colours. So it's Maybelline Touch of Spice, which is from the matte range. And then Charlotte Tilbury's Bitch Perfect. So these are all different enough, in my opinion, that I can guarantee having all of them or justify having all of them these two however i'm not too much a fan of i'm gonna tr try the mark jacobs one again so this is in role play it's just a mini um so i'm gonna keep this one i am however gonna pass along the hourglass in grace and the bite in pepper so these two here Okay, so these are all my mid-tone pink lipsticks. When we get to the swatches on my arm, you guys are going to realise I have a really... I have an issue when it comes to these kinds of lipsticks. Alright, so let's go through these, guys. So, these are the swatches. Can we tell I have a colour that I really like? Alright, let's go through these colours and show you what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. First two, <laughs> they're so similar, but I'm keeping both. So it's Kat Von D's Lovecraft and Urban Decay's Matte Back Talk. I love both of these colours. Next is Matte Darling by Milani. I'm going to get this one away. It's got to throw in a bit more orange than I like usually in a lippy. So I'm going to pass that one along. I'm also going to pass along Maybelline Lust for Blush. I feel like this is, I don't know, I really like this formula. This is the creamy matte, but I don't know. I'm going to pass that colour along because I don't wear it. And also the Flower Beauty. I have so many colours like this. But I just, this is tinted tuberose and you can't get it here. But like, I have so many other colours like it that I prefer the formula of. So pass that along. This is the Giordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Tea. So that's this one here. I'm also going to pass that one along. I'm keeping these two here, which look the exact same. Um, this is um, Napoleon Pettis Grace and Chi Chi Modern Minimalist. They're both matte and they're both beautiful. I'm going to keep... So I've got two of these Tarte um, Bamboo Lipsticks, Inspired and Graceful. I'm going to keep Inspired, which is this one here, and I'm going to throw out Graceful because it's just been destroyed anyway. Next we have Makeup Forever Roots for the Artist Natural in number 30 and Clinique's Plum Pop. I'm going to keep both of these. Moving around, two of my NARS Audacious lipsticks in Anna and Anita. I'm keeping both of these. Also keeping my MAC Alluring Aquatics Cream Sheen in Mystical. I'm going to pass along my... Um, wow, that rolled a lot. Um, my Clinique Love Pop, which is this one here, and my... NYX High Voltage in Sweet 16, this one here, they're going to get passed along. And I realise that this last one is technically a nude, this is Max Cream Cup, 
I didn't put it in the nudes, but I'm keeping it. Right, so now we have bright pinks and corals. Alright, so we're starting with the Guerlain Kiss Kiss in 361. Definitely keeping this. This was a gift from Melissa the Blush Beauty, so I'm keeping that one. I'm going to pass along, can you believe it, my YSL Rouge Volupt in number 32. This was limited edition. But I just don't wear this enough. Um, hopefully someone else will. And I'm keeping my Buxom Naturally Daring Matte, which is this one here. And also my Hourglass Ballet, which is this one here. I am passing along my Bare Minerals Moxie in Never Say Never, which is this one here. My Smashbox Magenta Matte, which is this one here. And my Maybelline Vivid Rose from the Colour Vivid's range. Next side over, I'm going to be getting rid of my Bite Palomino and violet because it's actually been melted into the tubes and I can't use it anymore. I'm going to pass along my L'Oreal Cherry Crush matte. I'm going to keep my Maybelline matte in Fade for Fuchsia. I'm going to keep my I Want Candy from Too Faced. I'm going to pass on Bellini by Bite Beauty. And I'm going to keep Streak by Too Faced. I'm going to try and mix Streak and Faint for Fish and see how I like that. So here's all my berries and purples. So starting with the two Kat Von D minis, I've got Homegirl and Motorhead. I'm going to get rid of Homegirl but keep Motorhead, which is this one here. Then we have my two Bite Beauty lipsticks in Barbary and Grenache. I'm going to keep both of these. I'm going to pass on my Alme Smart Shade in Light Berry. Yeah, we all know I'm keeping all three of these. <laughs> so this is Kat Von D's Bauhaus and then Nas, Vera and Janet. These three here, yes, I know they all look very similar, but they are different finishes, so to me that's enough justification. I really liked purples lately. Switching over, I've got Napoleon Pettis Lynx and Covergirl Delicious. I want to try Delicious a bit more. I haven't tried it enough yet. So I'm going to keep both of those. And I'm going to keep both of these. This is by Terry, Carnal Attraction, and Urban Decay, She Anarchy. So last lipsticks are reds. And those that I thought should fit in reds, but really don't fit in reds. Starting with the colours that should not even be in reds, as you can tell. Frida's Red by L'Oreal. It's actually a really pretty hot pink colour. I'm going to keep it and see if it actually wears Maybelline's from the future. This to me is the colour that would be closest to it. Nope, keeping both. Also keeping Napoleon Pettis Olympia and MAC Red Balloon. I love both of these colours and they're definitely different enough, don't you think? This trailer was meant to go in the last one but I just didn't put it in for some reason. Now Scarlet Empress. I love this. Napoleon Pettis Marlene. Gorgeous deep matte red. Keeping it. Here's the difficult part. I think I'm going to keep this one. This is the Rouge Intense Bad Makeup Forever. And then pass along 
F-bomb by Open Decay. This is just a mini. Again, why did I think some of these fitted in this category? I'm also going to pass along both of these. These were free gifts. This is Estee Lauder, Scarlet Siren, and Elizabeth Arden. Estee Lauder, Scarlet Siren, and Elizabeth Arden, um, Melon. I don't know. That looked more red to me. It's definitely not there. I'm going to pass those along. Eh, I'm not wowed by them. I'm torn between this lipstick. This is Revlon Encre HD in HD Gladulagless, which looks like this. I like how these lipsticks feel, but I feel like they don't perform that great on the lips, and I've never actually worn this colour. So obviously, I don't reach for it. So I'm going to pass that along. Oh my god, I just watched this. This is a YSL Rouge Per Couture number no. 1. Keeping this, that is the most gorgeous red ever. So we've got lip treatments and lip balms down here. And then I've also got some lip balms up in my room, but yeah, they don't need to be included. First is the Bite Beauty Whipped Cherry Lip Scrub. Never been used. It smells like medicine. I'm going to throw that out because I don't know how old that is. This is a Mary Kay. Oh, what's this called? Oh, lip lacquer and chai latte. I'm going to throw this out. This is not nice and I don't like passing along pot things. You guys know all of my fresh sugar. It's all going in the cake pie where I've somehow got the top everywhere. Let me get rid of that. L'Oreal Colour Riche Balm in Heavenly Berry. I've had this for long enough. I much prefer my fresh sugar, so this will go in the bin. This is the Bite Baby in Tawny. I will also go in the bin because that just feels gross. This is the Mama. Oh, this is a lipstick. Yeah. This is my lip balms. You know, I'm not going to keep that one. Pass that along. I will keep my e.l.f. lip scrub stick, but I will throw out my blistex and my fresh lip polish. So, that was a long one. I can't, I don't know if I will end up deciding to split that into two parts or not. If not, I will have the same intro and outro, and I apologise that it will end up being 11 parts, and I'll just let you know. But... I have a lot of lipsticks, and <laughs> this isn't even including parts 9 and 10, which are like extra lip products. So, <sighs> what can I say? Do give this video a thumbs up if you'd liked it. I really tried hard to be brutally honest when it came to my lipsticks. So, do subscribe, the button's down below to keep you up to date on all my videos. We're nearly finished with the declutter series, and then we've got my makeup collection, so do leave comments down below on what videos you want to see after those guys are up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!